Hey guys, Sean here from s &P, here with Exec Chef at the Abode Hotels, Jamie Smith. Um, today he's just going to talk about spices. What spices you need to have in the kitchens, which ones are not so important and how to group them all together. So guys, uh, spices can be uh, very complicated. Maybe people mix the wrong spices and herbs with each other and then create a dish that isn't very uh, appetizing. So what I've done here is I've tried to group them so they're sort of with the friends almost. So uh, I've grouped all the different dried herbs together. So we got dried basil, dried oregano, they'd be good in like Italian sort of dishes. And then I've grouped sort of like the Indian sort of spices together. So we've got ground cinnamon, things like ground turmeric, ground cumin, and lots of others, but they all marry well together. But whenever I would spice stuff, I'd try and just use pinches of everything. And then you can always add more, you can't really take away. So if you do want to add a bit more, a particular flavor, then you can always add a bit more at the end. The good thing, the important thing with spices as well is to cook them out in a pan. So uh, add them to a bit of uh, coconut oil to release those flavors. Also, another little section I've got here is more spices that are actually to create heat. So we've got a piri piri uh, marinade, cayenne pepper, and one of my favorites, uh, smoked paprika. So they all sort of go well together. And then here we've got like different types of salts and also powdered garlic. So I looked at the KFC recipe once and it involved a lot of onion salt and garlic salt. So I tend to like to use like onion salt and garlic salt with my chicken rather than just using standard salt. And then lastly, we got sort of like a Chinese Asian section. So we got Chinese five spice. So like it says on the tin, it's five spices in one. So it doesn't necessarily need anything else. But uh, we've also got whole cloves. Obviously you don't eat them, but you can use them to infuse in sauces and stocks.